yeah from this classifications we had a three types of stepper motor we start from the first one variable reluctance stepper motor people's we already know reluctance motor which means of a torque produces by a rotor to finding a low reluctance path this is the principle of rotation based on this effect this motor will function but it this rotation is not in a continuous manner it will rotate in a step by step concept that step has some step angle it will rotate with some degree movement so let's discuss the basic details it has the same thing stator and rotor here the stator part is smooth cylindrical maybe it can also in a salient pole but the rotor it's compulsory a salient pole because we already discussed this title in a reluctance motor itself the reluctance motor rotor should be a salient pole because that will has a differentiation in a high reluctance path and low reluctance path because of th those thing it those principle we can follow this here the rotor part will have a salient pole then the rotor is made up of a ferromagnetic material it's nothing but a common material something it does not give any kind of power supply here so and the, the, the same time the rotor part may be a single stack or multiple stacks it's operate in a reluctance effect no magnets has been used on the both side so with this basic principle let us discuss about the function of stepper motor in variable reluctance principle people keep in mind now the rotor rotate not in a complete manner in a step manner that step for force or torque is produces because of finding the low reluctance path where the low reluctance path has been appeared a small air gap so go with the content consider this diagram so i have one mission is a stepper motor variable stepper variable reluctance stepper motor it has a stator that stator contain three group of winding which is nothing but a group b group and a c group here it has two terminals now that a has been divided in a two poles it means a1 and a2 b also b1 and b2 c also c1 and c2 all this has been arranged in this parallel type of connection a circuit diagram is there on the right side see the diagram then it, it will be uh, controlled by a uh, three switches s1 for a group s2 for b group s3 for c group and a common voltage has been applied it is a dc voltage now we're going to operate the switches and providing this dc voltage as a pulses so based on this content it will rotate now discuss the content it has a different types of operating modes totally it is four not a five uh, it is a, the bracket content is not in there so what is the thing is the first one is nothing but one phase on or it is also called as full step second is nothing but two phase on it is also called full step a third one is nothing but alternating one phase on and two phase on mode the third step is also called as off step the first and second is full step a third is nothing but off step then a fourth title a last one is nothing but micro steps which means of it has a very minimum movement of the rotor so let's discuss one by one the first one is nothing but full step in full step the first title is one face on from the time from the initial itself i declared it, it has three group of coil the three group of coil has been splitted into six coils now i'm going to give the pulse for only one group which means of either a or either b or either c based on this thing it will operate now now go for the content see the diagram consider the a1 a diagram in that i have a stator that stator has six poles the six poles is achieved by three groups of winding a1 a2 b1 b2 and c1 c2 then it is supplied by a uh, controller of DC pulses the intermediate is rotor the rotor has a less number of poles when compared to the stator it is a uh, important content here uh, in the designing aspect we need to design the rotor with less number of 
poles when compared to stator so it has only four poles at the same time the rotor is salient pole structure uh, now consider this thing from the first diagram i'm going to give the power supply to the a winding if i give the a winding means a1 and the a2 folds are activated now the rotor is on that position something the in rotor first pole is nearer to stator first pole rotor third pole is nearer to stator fourth pole this is the consider this is the first position if i need to rotate for the next degree here this machine is explained by 30 degree step angle uh, next if a is excited now now i am going to excite the b coil by disconnecting the a stop the power supply to the a and give the power supply to the b now what happen is just see the diagram a now the b has been activated means b1 and b2 pole are excited now just find which one is nearer pole in the rotor the 4 is nearer to 6 and the 2 is nearer to 3 now the rotor starts rotate to finding the low reluctance path because of this reluctance functions a rotor has been rotated and rotate rotation will end on after reaching the position the the position is on the b diagram now see the diagram 4 is uh, go nearer to b1 second is go nearer to b2 now the torque has been ended because it will reach the low reluctance path that's all for the content this rotation is 30 degree of step now the progress has been repeated now I'm going to disconnect the power supply from B and give the power supply to C. Now finding the areas, just check the B diagram. When I see, when I activate the C, C1 and C2 coil get excited in state R. Uh, now finding the rotor nearest to rotor poles. In C1, it, it will nearer to 3. Then 2 is, sorry, not 2. 1 is nearer to c2 now it will again move and produce the next 30 degree of step angle see the diagram c now it is c1 will reach and uh, c1 will place the nearer to third of rotor pole then first rotor pole will nearer to c2 then this function has been continuously repeated now i, I can repeat the same step i can disconnect the power supply to the c and connect the power supply to the a then the first position has been repeated with this continuous rotation which means of it with, with, by continuous steps see the true table of this function this is a 30 degree of step angle uh, have a three phases a b c for the first one when i give the power supply to the a phase it is produced only a 30 zero degree when i give the power supply to the b it will produce the 30 degree then when i give the power supply to the c it will produce 60 degree again when i give the power supply to the a it was 90 degree so by continuing this table it will continues to rotate step of 30 degree now tell me for a, a 30 degree of rotate 30 degree of step angle what is the resolution the resolution is nothing but a 12 so the 12 data is needed 12 pulse is needed to complete here one cycle one rotation of rotor this is the content this is a full step only one phase is on and it also has a fixed value of degree it will only possible to stop in 0 degree 30 degree 60 degree and 90 degree if i need uh, intermediate degrees uh, i have to stop the rotor from 15 degrees and 45 degrees and 75 degrees in intermediate 0 to 30 and 30 to 60 and 60 to 90 means we can go with the one more uh, procedure this is the second operating mode this is nothing but two phase on here i'm going to activate the three groups of three group winding by two excitation mode which means of i'm going to excite the coil a and b then b and c then c and a by this repetition i can achieve this function uh, now what is the content is for the first diagram i can activate a and b winding now the rotor finding the intermediate of a and b then second one i'm going to activate the c b and c now the rotor finding the position of intermediate between 
B and C. That is nothing but a 45 degree. The first one is nothing but 15 degree. By this continuation, when I activated C and A coil, it will finding the position between A and C. That degree is nothing but 75. Again, when I repeat the same step by activating A and B, it was it was located at the next step angle. It is nothing but 0 0.5 degree. So this is the content. This is the two phase on mode it is also a full step it will produce a 30 degree of step angle but the 30 degree of step angle in different angle different position uh, see the table first i can activate it a and b it is a 15 degree next i can activate it b and c it is 45 degree next i can activate it a and c it is 75 degree next i can activate it a and b it was 105 degree with it was continuously proceed to complete a 360 degree again the same thing to complete the 360 degree it needed 12 steps okay that's all for the content the both the title single phase on two phase on both are comes under full step now go for the next a third content it is nothing but half step operation in this third condition is it's a very simple it is nothing but we have to produce the off step value uh, we seeing this example for 30 degree step 30 degree step angle stepper motor so half step means we have to reduce this step by half of the value a 30 degree the off value is nothing but 15 degree it is possible to make the off step of a stepper motor by operating on this condition what will happen here is i can uh, merge the two operation what we seen on before first one what we see uh, one phase on second one is nothing but two phase on now i'm going to club this two function to create the off step operation see the table for the first one is nothing but one phase on i'm only activating the a winding b and c are neutral the rotor is on zero degree next one i'm activating a and b now it will rotor will lies between a and b phase it will only produce 15 degree of Pulse. it is the command comes under two phase on then third one is nothing but i am only disconnecting the a the b is on there so it is nothing but a one phase on second condition here the rotor will produce the next 15 degree of step angle and produce the 30 degree it will continues here the fourth one is nothing but b and c fifth one is nothing but only c next one is nothing but a and b a and c the next one is nothing but only a by continuity by continuing continuity of this function which means of uh, one phase and two phase one phase and two phase we can easily make this step by off the value here it is a 30 degree step angle so we can off the value and make the machine to run at each 15 15 degrees degrees of step now it has 24 degrees of steps to complete a 360 degree so the resolution is 24 your fourth content is nothing but a micro step motor uh, a micro step uh, is achieved by a simple consent it is also a mini step content something it is a two phase on mode the same thing we can repeatedly using the same content i'm going to give the power supply to a and b or b and c or c and a by this way i can give the power supply but only variation is the magnitude I'm not giving the equal pulse magnitude to both winding. Uh, how it is means uh, if I give the power supply to A and B, take it as an example. A la under na po 10 volt kurtrika, B liyon 10 volt kurtrika. Abde na it will lies between A and B. Now I can reduce the magnitude of B. 10 volt under the B la kurtrika 10 volt ka kore kare. I can reduce by uh, 10 under the 8 ag 8 ag kore kare. And 8 are correct mode, uh, now a lower value on B winding and a higher value on A winding, the rotor will slightly move on minimum steps. Or else we can we can redo on this scenario. A will correct, B will improve. Or if B will correct, A will improve. In the sequence of mathematics, we can produce the micro steps for the stepper motor. A micro steps is achieved by changing your magnitudes on two phase on mode either we does not able to change the both magnitude either we can change one phase magnitude decrease and another will be maintained so based on this thing it will be achieved micro step
that's all for the variable reluctance stepper motor this is the diagram of that particular part